Welcome to the stockmanner.com. I'm Brian Johnson, and nice to be back with you all. I was on the road traveling yesterday. Uh, I was at the Super Bowl this weekend. I am a Packers fan, and it went very well. I was very happy. Awesome time, awesome seats, awesome venue, awesome game, and lo and behold, we came out on top. So, very happy for the team, very happy uh, that it was able to happen this year. I've never been to a Super Bowl. That was an absolute hoot. If you uh, are a football fan and enjoy football, if your favorite team happens to make it to the Super Bowl, I would highly recommend you save your pennies and try to go one of these times. It was a blast. Um, so uh, just something you need to experience uh, once in your lifetime if you haven't already. All right, breaking into the markets over the last two days, though. That means I've been out of commission. I'm back at it. Regular schedule now. Every day you will see us again. And you can see that the markets were up again today uh, and yesterday as well. So the Bulls continue their trouncing. It's a flogging of the Bears over the last uh, umpteen months now, really, to be quite honest with you. It's been numerous, numerous, um, <laughs> numerous, numerous uh, weeks in a row where we've seen the uh, Bulls just trouncing the Bears here. So as we pick it up, though, you'll see... Uh, nothing's really changed. Still strong to the upside. Giving you some updates over the weekend. You can see here were some entries right above these levels I kept giving you um, to at least you know give you an idea of where to go along. I hope you guys took some of these because there were some good opportunities, especially above 12,100 here. Really good place to get in, pull back, and move up. So what are we seeing? Here was the big dip. Chance for the Bears to take over. Did nothing. Pull back up. Every dip being bought by the Bulls. It's just that simple. Pulling back, moving sideways here as you can see. A move up, a pull back, a move up. So what are we seeing? Move up, pull back, move up, pull back, pull back, pull back. Bigger pull back looking like this could be the one. Nope. This is called a high base here. So nothing to really be nervous about if you're at all um, a bullish on this market. Everything's holding up very, very well for you. <clears throat> Into the daily, you can see here as well, uh, moving up very, very nicely. I'm just, I can't help but giggle when I see this. Huge run up since December. Just had a talk with some of my students today and we're all... Um, a lot of the traders I know are all in the same boat, and they're just like, what? Yeah, it, it really is, guys. This is an extremely hard push up. I mean, you can call it whatever you want to, but QE2 has definitely had an effect on the markets, and this is just all part of it. Um, expect, if, if things don't get better, expect QE3 to come in, too. Uh, what's pushing it up? It's anyone's guess. You'll hear people say that it's you know money on the sidelines. Okay, whatever. Point being, market is up. We cannot let our bias get in the middle of that. Uh, there have been opportunities to go short. There have been better places to go short than others. But overall, really, there's, there's really no real reason to get short at this point. The, the longs have it. The bulls are fully in charge here. We saw this test of the 20-day, and look at the Dow. It has been a monster, which is odd. The Dow is usually one of the little slower, lagger type things, but not lately. It has been a monster to the upside, and no different today. Last two days here, above that 12,100 mark was the area to look for longs. That was good for a couple, or at least 100 points over the last day or so. NASDAQ doing the same thing here, showing some strength, just popping above this, uh, popping above and getting to a new high at the end of the day, but still looking very, very strong up in here. We watched this area here. I had some really good entries as well for my subscribers in to the uh, long on the NASDAQ. Right above here would have been a good idea. Maybe here, uh, hard to take it at the end of a day, but still things looking very, very good. No reason to think this can't hold for maybe a, another day or so before uh, we could potentially see some, I'm going to call it, I, I would say a pullback, but I don't know if we can expect this. This was a move up, and look, look, we went sideways here to a consolidation. I would say maybe look for that same type of movement here. Small pullback or a move sideways within the markets. The bulls are doing a very good job of holding things up here. Nobody, nobody is nervous right now about the markets and their move to the downside. From a bigger picture, the weekly on the NASDAQ, one, two, three. We talked about this maybe being the top of three and then four with five yet to come. Okay, you can count it however you want, but to be honest with you, I'm not so sure I don't count this all as one big three wave to the upside. I'm not sure this whole three wave has finished yet. Very, very strong. Could be coming into what potentially could be a new bull market. Little premature for that, but it's certainly, certainly time to start talking about that. SPX 60 minute here, above these areas here we talked about over the weekend. Great opportunity for a long, 
a little pullback and a move to the upside. Now this one is a little bit more difficult. Notice that today the 60 minute candle here just was able to get to the new high. So once again, very difficult. Lots of patience necessary here in these breaks to the upside, especially if you're an intraday trader. However, daily looking very strong as well. Move up high base, move up. And this is what I was talking about in this area. Notice how we moved up very strong here into February. This move here, I said, is consolidating. Looking like a high base right now. That is neutral to more bullish. Sure enough, we get the break and away we go. So looking very strong here from the daily perspective. VIX uh, had a move to the downside, almost coming back to retest this blue line today, which I thought was odd. And then notice the spike at the end of the day. So kind of bringing itself back up. But overall, really, there's nothing to glean from this, except the markets are not nervous in the least bit. We could break this down into a little tighter uh, range. It would be interesting to see exactly how long it lasted down here in this area before the VIX started spiking again. But bigger picture, there's just no um, no nervousness at all coming into the markets. This little spring to the downside once again almost coming back to touch this blue line just showing us that there's really no fear at all in the markets currently right now and moving on we will see that apple on the 60 minute another monster climb now i wasn't able to get with you yesterday but i did mention over the weekend i liked it over the um, 346 area and this is why look once we broke that 346 it took off we got the little gap here to start the week right at 348 and it was all upwards from there I even mentioned over uh, 349 350 ish area those were all good areas to get long and you can see that would have made you a good five to seven bucks so far this week so I hope you've been following along what we're seeing here is nothing at this point nothing more than another high base formation so yes above 356 your next area to look to go long on Apple also showing a very nice push to the upside here. By the way, this was building a beautiful ascending triangle, which it then broke once we got above these levels here. And you can see the huge move since then. Apple looking very, very strong. The weekly back up and over this blue line. Now, these are weekly, so we will wait to see what happens by the end of the week. But <clears throat> you can see the push still hard, still strong within Apple by the investors. FAS also making a hard run. Looking at these areas up here that I had made, mention of great places to get long you can see above the daily yesterday uh, as long as or as, as soon as we broke the uh, 31 uh, or 30 uh, 3175 ish area I think is uh, what my call might have been above 32 for sure and that would have netted you a good dollar <clears throat> or so sorry within the markets here you can see this continued climb to the upside as the financials just did nothing but a huge push up consolidate right here before pushing up yet once again so financials looking very good up here in this area for the time being which means and i told you guys faz if you guys want to go short there's better uh, or long there's better places than others to get long but there's no reason to get overly uh, bullish on this stock and you can see continues to bleed its way downwards i actually had shorts for you in this area right below the 820 mark and then a, again below the eight dollar mark so for those of you that have been playing the right side of the trade which is short in this respect you can see it holding very very nicely where are we coming to still targeting this blue line down here guys and that right now is going to be sitting at or around 7 to 725 <laughs> on FAZ so we push down into that area if you guys are really hell-bent on going long this stock that is what I would wait for wait for it to reach this lower blue line and then look for an opportunity to get long at that point otherwise I ain't touching it I still like it above the 20 day uh, as it was up here, uh, but right now yeah, there's just a really, uh, there's no reason to be getting long this stock. Getting short this stock is what you really need to be watching to do right here. And it looks like it wants to follow suit. It's just been bleed downward, bleed downward, bleed downward the whole way. So will it turn? Yeah, it will. But when? I can't tell you. I can't tell. I'm sure people were telling you back here in September and again in November that this was an awesome time to get long. Oh, Faz is going to a million or whatever. Yeah, well, not so much. You, you just got to know how to play the, the... I mean, the chart is not telling me go long. There's nothing here that tells me go long. So, And even this lower line, if you're looking to go long there, great. Completely speculative. I'm not going to make any bones about it. Uh it's not something I, you know, 
teach my students to do. It's just not what we look for. There's other better things to look for here. However, if you, I get it all the time from people, you know, when, when do we go? When do we go? When do we go? Well, I'll tell you when to go. You go long if you want to down here at the blue line. It's a very defensible place to get long, but I ain't guaranteeing you things going to go up. It's very, very, very weak right now. So uh, anyway, for those of you that are playing this, continue to play short. Uh, below that eight dollars was another great place to get in. If you if you weren't already short this stock, I'd have a stop just up above eight bucks and see how well it holds. If you can get it back down to this blue line, that's where I'd be looking at for a target area. Okay, that'll do it for today. But I'll be back with you again tomorrow. We'll see where the markets decide to take us. Huge run. Everything looks good. Everything still looks bullish. And until some of these levels down in here are broken, I gotta remain more bullish on the markets. See you tomorrow. Bye.